hey guys come on along with us for a date so i just wanted to warn you ahead of time that you may get a little dizzy so beware hey guys it's saturday and me and babe are in ebor getting ready to go to a surprise date that he has for me Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> Bring your own drinks or beverage. B O B Y O B. But we're paying for parking right now and then we're going to be headed there. In my own world, just looking around, enjoying, listening. This is that music. That music captivated me. This where we go. Oh, wow, for real. A surprise. I was here, saw what they was doing. Go ahead, babe. Drip, drip. How you doing? Oh, we got reservations. That's cool. Um, that's the best of all. You got me. Here's the apron. artwork I guess people never came back to get their stuff I don't know but anyway these are just to give you some ideas I guess of things that you can make so do we go back to her There's our balls. Your baby getting ready. can carry over 100 pounds it's a little crazy um, but other than the centering you guys take over and make anything and everything whatever you like whatever your need what I'm doing right now is called coning then I'm kind of one hand hold I'm gonna have my right one do it slowly push to the side takes down and those little noises are air bubbles that I might have missed one I was wedging our clay which wedging is kind of like kneading dough I needed to get the air bubbles out or as much as I could before these balls are brought here. I go up and down a few times until the clay then pushes me around. Usually they're already centered, but it's kind of fun when you guys get to see us do it. Yeah. That's nice. And then I back off, make a little mark for step one. I'm gonna make you See, friction means we need a little bit of water. So I usually pause with my hands on my piece and it makes it look very nice and silky. I think I can do this one a little faster. Okay. 
If you're gonna get mud on your hands, you can scrape it off or just work with it. And do we have an idea of what we want to make? Cereal, mug, planter. We're in Okay, I feel like that'd be easier to do at the table. We'll give you extra clay. That's what I mean. No, 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 but we can make like an ashtray or something. Yeah, I'll make an ashtray. And then at the table, you get extra clay to decorate. So you could wrap a little snake around it or something. Yeah, I'll make or an make a little pipe at the table as well. We let you make one thing for fun. So I got you. Just remind me when you get part two. And I'll try to talk you through that. So yeah, you get two things to paint when you come back. So if you like to cook incense holder, you want to make your own. Should we take out Julio? Um, maybe. Do you have your purse? Put it somewhere. Yeah, I put it in my pocket. I don't want you. Put those on your legs. You're gonna use one finger to find the center. If it's wiggling everywhere, that is not your center. Wait until you're still, and then slowly push. You'll feel yourself sinking or drilling in. Get close to the bottom without hitting the bottom. If you're not sure how deep you are when you pull out, you have a tiny line. That's about how deep I went, so you can kind of check it, gauge it. I also go like this, do a rough little measurement, and I'm like close to my second knuckle. Okay, so I'm gonna say this hand, you're gonna hold this hand. Here's third. I just kind of hold my wrist. Because you're gonna need one finger. Like this, man, hold your hand. She left hand. Yeah. Oh, you can left hand, that's okay, but we will have to switch this back for them to bring that up. So, Flex the center. Now that you're still, you want to kind of go straight down so you don't feel too much resistance. So you start to just kind of slip them in there. So it's the bottom without hitting the box. Finger out. I don't know. And then if it feels dry, you need to wet your hands. I know. I'm going in vagina. I know. I love it. I bet you. No, no, no. Yeah. Oh, you should have seen our bachelor party last week. Okay. All right, let me check it. This looks pretty good. So then now, basically, there's different forms. You'll have to get taller, unless you just want like a more wider ashtray. I like to have one hand hold for stability, go inside with the same figure you had inside, and you're gonna slowly start to pull away from the center to start to widen it, to widen. What we're doing is basically getting all this clay from the center and just bringing it to our wall first. So if anything, go like this far. Remember, if it feels dry, we need water inside and out. And put this thumb right here. Oh no, not this one. Yeah, hold on to your hand. And then we'll pause. You're doing pretty good. I wanted to do this one. Hmm? You gotta pull. You gotta pull it towards you, babe. Put your hand, put your thumb on top of it. And like pull your finger, pull your finger towards you. All the mud. The mud. You're in the mud at the bottom of your finger too. You're at the bottom. So then I'm going to choose your sponge, right? So with this, you can kind of push down and clean up little marks, but also you could, I want you to kind of move this little bump out, or you can work with it. So if you go from the outside and bring it in, it turns into like a little spike. Right. If you want like a little spike in there. This thin part here, you always want to use your sponge to push down. And then I'm going to do a few things, and then I'm going to put it back so that you get out of so basically, if you want it wider, you keep going wider. But if you slip up, yeah, if you slip up, you only open up the top. If you want the bottom to be wide, you gotta bring that out too. If you get too wide, palms together, you plug it in. in. And that's not about to come to you because you're gonna actually learn how to get taller. So you're just gonna playing around a bit. Okay. See, you know, move the clay around, see how wide you want your ass straight. And then for you, and for you, you don't want to go down, you want to go out. When you go down, we'll have a hole when I add it. And I'm going to bring some tools to it. So there's a stability. I'll have them push it and get it over. Let me see. So we're going too fast. <laughs> Let me see if I can fix it real quick. <laughs> it was about to get crazy, man. So we got too thin on the bottom. I'm going to see if I can move clay from the center out. <laughs> that was good enough. Okay, cool. So that's okay. It might still have like a little wobble to it because it did get a little crazy, but slow and steady. I'm gonna get to it. Alright. That's good. I'm just gonna slow it down so don't feel too bad. So you're getting a little indent in the belly and slowly. Put your hands
Um, you want to also stay it's going to fall. That looks pretty wobbly. I have a simple bowl, simple yeah, ash tray. Sure so My wife want to make a plant here. It's getting me sick. I feel like I'm getting seasick watching it. She needs help. Coming. I mean, though, it has character. Yeah, very. Let me see, maybe I can read yeah, some Yeah, alcoholic clay. character. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like it's drunk. <laughs> I don't like, or like a Dr. Seuss vase yeah, or something. Some of this I feel like it's not too shabby. It's kind of cute. I like it. What happened was you just moved the clay a little quick, so there's some clay left behind. So all I did was shift the rest of it. Maybe I can shape it up a little. So right now that's what it's looking at. And I'm kind of biased to this. I feel like this should be the top of your plant, you know, like, yeah, like coming the out the front. Uneven ring. The uneven ring. But yeah. you can still clean it up and add lines. Like I think if you like this little divot here, you can mm -hmm. even slowly try to like squeeze slowly a bit to try to get it to get a little smaller. Okay. Um, but I think it's that cute because you have room for like, right. yeah, I was like, you got room for your dirt. I would say just clean up this because right now you got a little clay skirt. Get rid of that or you have to kind of sand that thin piece of clay oh, off. Okay, thank you. So either point straight ahead or towards, yeah, you're going to I'm gonna put some lines on mine. Here's mine. Here's my planter. Amazing rocking planter. And I'm fine with that. And this is a, a ashtray for ashes. Give it over there, get me. No, I ain't gonna put no lines. That concentration is very So they gave us an extra pound of clay to scope or to add to what we already made. Should I make with this? I'm here doing stuff with my nails and they not done. That's enough or you want more? That's enough. Okay. It's my drink. I'm going to chill. Show them how <laughs> Hello. Huh? What are you making? Um, a stone. A garden stone. For memory of like my loved ones. Because I didn't know if you understand. I didn't know if I understood. I didn't know. I it's a garden stone for my love. I mean, a memory stone for my love that I'm going to put in my bar. In a burrito. I just got a burrito. Really? I hope I'm not going to 
of all this music is not it's not it's a little muddy but it's okay because we're gonna get it more muddy so this is just once you've like made it or you can use it to slowly clean it up but you don't want to like use too much water because then it'll get stuck to everything okay thank you loved ones that I lost they all left an important impact on my heart and in my life um, we'll be back in a few weeks to paint the items until next time talk to you later bye bye